Your Majesty. We are not going to lose sleep because the Queen committed an abominable act. We, the Council of Elders, are here to present to you our laid down rules rooted in our custom and traditions on how the problem she created can be solved. Oh no, it's awful, but carry on, I'm listening. Your Majesty, to solve the problem the Queen created, you must have to marry four wives once on the same day. The four wives represents the four market days we have in Igbo land. Ndichi Okwea. I am not sure that I heard you well. Your well, Majesty, there's a problem. A problem created by the Queen by leaving the palace without notice. And we, your cabinet members, are here with a solution to that problem. Your Majesty, not just a solution fabricated to massage our whims and caprices. Mba. This is a solution rooted in history. No woman must be allowed to insult the king of Umezora kingdom by leaving him. If such happens, the king must marry four women immediately to tell her that she's nothing. Yeah. Uh, well, our elders in council, I honestly do not think that we'll have a problem here. We don't have a problem. Uh, this is marriage, and we all know that uh, marriage comes with um, some level of crisis once in a while. I don't understand why mine should be different. Eh? Is it because I am king? Well, um, I'd like to start by saying that my wife and I are not divorced. She only left the palace. An issue? that we're trying to resolve. And until then, I, Eze, I in any way, of whom we are a kingdom, will not marry another woman. Talk more of marrying four other women. That is not going to happen until I understand why the queen of this great kingdom left the palace. Uh, Your Majesty, you see, a woman who leaves her home without notice has no reason. We are elders, and we are here to guide you right, Your Majesty. Please, don't do set of that. Oh, yes. Never in the history of Uma Zora Kingdom has a young queen left the husband the way your queen did. Remember, she's a woman. And our custom demands that she must not see any man. Neither will any man enjoy the woman in her. She must remain undefiled. Else, calamity of extreme proportion will befall our land. And as the owner of Uma is our kingdom, I will not sit and watch that happen. But no, <laughs> uh, elders in council, please. Let us endeavor not to make this big. Eh? Uh, and uh, as we try to resolve this issue, let's also apply wisdom. My wife and I are not divorced. I repeat. But even in the event that the queen decides to leave me today, whatever she chooses to do with her life, her life should not affect me or anyone here. 
is not just taking another wife, but you must take four wives. One born on Eke Market Day. One born on Ore Market Day. One born on Afo Market Day. And one born on Unko Market Day. That is the pattern. And that is how it is done. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are Do you want to sit on the throne? I'm going to remind you that I am the king. I will not take otherwise. Talk more of four. More women. Remember? That is my verdict. Men in cancer. That is my verdict. And no one will deliberate on this matter. I must be sincere with us here. I don't like the way the king is handling this issue. We are men in council. And we must not be dismissed as, as, as children who, 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 are, who, who are talking trash. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. I do not have the intention of playing into the youthful exuberance the king exhibits. Frog loves water, no doubt, but not when it is boiling. I, who know wounds are where, will get the water boiling soon. And then we will all sit back and watch to see how he's going to handle things. My fellow Ichiel, should we not go to Oguefi Okwana Aswanya and appeal to him to talk to our king? As he is the custodian of our revered of Oneche Obudu masquerade, he remains the only one the king can listen to. Let me be sincere to you. Right. Oguefi. Okwana Sanya is a person of no importance. Actually, he is one of the problems we have in this kingdom. Yes. After dealing with the king, he is the next person we must deal with. Uh, please. I was under the impression that um, we we'll use this opportunity to discuss uh, the issue of the chief priests of the Ichi or, Agumba. Uh, don't take us back. We are not going to allow their chosen one to become the chief priest. Because if we do, their camp will now be in charge of the politics and the spiritual dimensions of Umwezora kingdom. <laughs> that means that we are nothing. 
we must make sure our chosen person becomes the chief priest. After all, they have succeeded in installing that young man as king. Okay. Yes. yes. This is the only way this problem can be solved. You have been so quiet today. I hope all is well. What's the issue? I've been quiet because I've been analyzing this issue. There is no need for all this kula palo. This is the modern world for crying out loud. Some of these traditions are no longer feasible. How do you expect the king to marry four women? He doesn't even know. Just because the queen left the palace, I think we should leave the king to handle his marital crisis his own way. Uche, honestly, it would have been better if you had kept quiet instead of vomiting this trash you are vomiting. You have nothing, absolutely nothing reasonable to say. Ichi Okorondo, he did not insult you. Are you saying that we should ignore things that concern the land? Modern world or no modern world, Umwezora kingdom has been known as that kingdom that still holds tight to their customs and traditions. And whatsoever concerns our royal head, concern the land. I don't want to join words with anyone here, but I've spoken my mind. <laughs> Can I be very sincere with you? Go ahead. I support the elders. Are you serious? Why would you say that? Say, when your possessed wife refused to stay with you in the palace, it is very obvious that her insensitive decision will cause us more harm than good. Now, the elders have said what to do to solve the problem. Why don't you do it? Up for now. I am your brother. I know. But I'll be quick to remind you that I am the king of Umwezara kingdom. And I do not take instruction from people. Especially when it has to do with my personal life. My dear brother. This is not about giving and taking instructions. The elders are mandating. Oh, rightly put. The tradition is mandating you to get married to four daughters of this land, which represents the four market days. Why don't you just do it? Enjoy yourself. Allow this woman to take care of you. As a king, the more women you marry, Become so go ahead and do it. I have seen her backward. Your thinking is you know, your rude character would never really allow you to experience and truly feel what love is. That's why you talk like this. 
Up now. When you get married, if ever you will, are you going to allow your husband to take more wives just so he can enjoy himself and be great? I am not the one who left her husband. Abner, now you have nothing to say to me. Leave my presence. Okay. Think about it. Because I am not going to be here to face the calamity. Because of that woman, she's not worth it. Excuse me. It's not your fault. I don't blame you. I blame my wife everywhere. Who just suddenly decided to up and leave the palace without telling me what the problem is. So that we can resolve it within us. And now everyone thinks that they can just walk in here and tell me exactly what to do. Whoever the cap of it, oh, let him wear the crown. Oh, do not fight a man ordained by God. Yeah, cause you will never, never. Elders and counsel, now that we have blessed cola and uh, we are drinking, I feel this is the best time for, for us to get down to the reason we are here. But why this visit to my place? Onu, can you at least open the floor? Ogwe if you want sign. I thank you for allowing us into your domain. It is said that a village without the elderly is like a well without water. All is not well with our kingdom. Our young king is about destroying our land. And the council of elders will not just fold our hands, sit and watch that happen. That is why we are here to see you because we believe you can handle this. Are we talking about the same king that I know? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I am one of boys. So what is the problem? Can somebody, can somebody at least tell me something? How has it become a problem? What happened? It is the belief of our people that once a queen leaves the palace, she lives with a core part of the king. And must stay undefiled. Because if by any chance she got defiled by another man, wanton calamity will befall our land. Especially the king. So in our quest for solution, solution to what the queen has done, to avoid problem and according to our tradition we told the king that um, he has to marry four new wives according to our tradition mm -hmm. representing the four market days we have in Ebo land and that the queen that left must be compelled 
to remain undefiled. You know, if, if you ask, I will say you are beating, you're just going round and round and round. Can you tell me specifically what the main issue is? The king refused to listen to us. In fact, everything we said in the palace fell on deaf ears. He says he does not believe in any of these traditions. Any of them. So how am I connected with this? Do you actually think I can force a man to believe what he seems not to believe? You want to understand? We are here to let you know the situation in this kingdom. Because as a respected person, we believe you can talk to the king, probably, for him to understand the implications of his actions. Yes. I don't blame him anyway because he has lived his life outside our kingdom and is not rooted in all this. He has his choice to make. Else the council of elders will have no other choice than to raise the sacred staff of Umwezora kingdom. As you know, that will kill the queen because we cannot just sit and watch her bring calamity upon us. You know, you amaze me when you speak of raising the offer, sacred offer of Umwezora. If you will listen to me, I mean, if you are ready to hear the truth, I will ask you, let the king be. Allow the young man to rule in peace. It is unfortunate that the kind of very negative politics you have been playing in this kingdom has not allowed us to install a chief priest in our land. No, 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 wait. I won't take this from you. Both of us know that the absence of the chief priest has nothing to do with this. We have a tradition, and our tradition must follow. We must follow it. But let this be the very last time you will interrupt me when I'm talking. Don't try it again. Here you are making reference to tradition, and I want to ask you, was tradition not made for men? Was it men that we are made for tradition? No, no, are you not supposed to know that there are some traditions that needs to be revisited as the world is evolving. No, no, why are you believing that because it is tradition, it must remain like that? That even when the world is changing, tradition cannot change? Who does that? The queen just left the palace. She has not issued any statement that she is no longer wife to the king. The husband has not actually said that he has divorced his wife. What they are having is marital issue, which they can resolve. Now, what makes you think, or why will you reach the conclusion that they can no longer come back together? I don't understand what you are saying. You understand exactly what I am saying, and if you don't understand, I will explain it. They are having marital issues, which is very common, and I want you to give them the space for them to resolve their marital issues. These people are the royal heads in this kingdom, and I want you to allow the king do what he decides. Please. Uh, uh, Obufi, I just want to make an innocent inquiry. What if the queen decides to live with another man? And, uh, and I'm, I, want, I want to find out how is that anybody's business? How could we as men who are initiated into the organized masculine court of Umwezora Kingdom, how can we possibly now believe that the private life of a woman is going to affect our kingdom? How? Those are part of the draconian provisions of our tradition that has to be revisited. What I am saying in essence is that the private life of a woman is the private life of that woman and there is no way it can ever affect our kingdom. I refuse. Our tradition states that. 
I am already done with this topic and I, want, I don't want to discuss it any further. You came here asking for my opinion and I have given you my undiluted opinion. I want you to ponder on the things that I have said. <laughs> I said, stop here. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, you think you can stop me? Oh. You think you can stop me? I got you. From accessing the palace of whom was on. What's me, you fool? Listen, let me tell you. If you misbehave yourself today in this palace, for oh God, who made me? I will have no option than to bundle you. You see, I should have like this. I will bundle you and throw you out of this palace. It's okay. Akaba cannot bring himself down to argue with a mere palace fool like you. A real palace guy with a damn pass I cannot do that. Uh, Okay. See, listen. Let me ask you. Does this place look like a beer parlor? Or a, a, a joint where you got yourself drunk? What's your problem? What's wrong with you? Listen, I have told you. This is the last warning. Today, if you try that nonsense here, I will bundle you and throw you outside. I just confirmed that you are a very big fool. Yes. Of course, I know that the palace of Umwezo is not a beer palace. Yes. But if I had a career, I am here to see my friend, the king, as a bona fide member of his cabinet. Huh? Yes. And uh, I'm here to collect some bottles. Once I leave my hand on the bottles, I pick it up. Or not? I go my way. So, as a matter of fact, I am warning you. If you come close away. Honestly, Your Majesty, you don't have to be mad at the elders. You, you need to calm down. By their own words, they are trying to find a way to ensure that there is peace in the land. And that everything is fine. But I, I want to find out, Onyeze, have you on your own tried to find out, you know, sort things out with the queen? Well, Oboefi, I have not been able to do that, and that is because my wife, the Queen, for some reason, is staying away from communicating with me for now. On your own? Can you, can you tell me the exact reason that she left? Have you been able to find out? Well, like I have just pointed out, I have not been able to communicate with her, so I don't know. But my sister, um, Princess Abunau is of the opinion that the Queen is possessed. But I don't agree. That's a childish talk. I'm happy you don't agree because that is not possible. There is no way a woman who is married to the King of Umwe Zora, a woman who stays within the four walls of the palace will be possessed by any spirit. That's a childish talk. The issue is that there is a problem. And as long as we don't know what this problem is, I am thinking we have to tread with caution. Honestly. If you are confused. I am confused. I don't know what to do. You don't have to be confused. You really don't, don't, you don't have to be confused. You are a man who is sitting on an ancestral stool, and to the best of my knowledge, you have been carrying yourself well as the king. All these things, will, they will pass away. And I sincerely believe that the ghosts are always with you. The great king of our great kingdom, the king of whom we are kingdom, the conspiracy was to prevent me from coming in. But in my capacity as Agawa, I was able to beat the conspiracy. Huh? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. 
You will use this conspiracy against you. How do you know, offer? Yes, you need that. I mean, how can anybody be conspiring against our king? Huh? Hmm. Of course, you might not like him, but he's already the king. And you must respect his office as the king. Our ancestors who put him there will either strike you with Otolo, like Ketepas, before they finally strike you there. Beautiful angel. You finally come outside. Yes, I came out. I am a very busy woman. I wasn't expecting you at my gate. What are you doing here? Yes. Onyego is here because you have refused to give me listening ears. Beautiful one, you are so mean to me. I don't know why. Can you please reduce the volume of your resistance um, so that we can blend together? Chief Dede, right? Yes. Yeah, go on. Don't tell me you drove all the way down here to come tell me this. Yes. But uh, I am glad I have other important news I need to tell you. Look. There is something important I want us to discuss. Something that will be beneficial to you and I. Uh, but please, I want you to permit this handsome young man. Take me inside so we can sit and talk. In order to make one year go outside, it's not good. I should take you inside my house. Yes, of course. The only reason I'm standing here to have a discussion with you is because of the little respect I still have for you. You would not go into my house to have a conversation. If there is anything you want to say, say it here and now. I have something important doing inside. Oh. Why, Oma? Look. Please, I want you to accept me as your man. I promise you, I will give you whatever you want on it. Yeah. We were once business partners, right? Yes, of course. I would love for you to respect that boundary. Stop pestering me. You're beginning to irritate me and it's getting on my nerves already. Listen, I don't want you to come to my gate to come look for me again. Don't! Why, your ma? Don't come close. Look, Ibiana Men Market USA. You will know how many containers now about that daily. Oh, God. By the mention of the name of Please forget whosoever that is distracting you. Accept me, and I promise you. Look, once you accept me as your man, I am going to buy you any mansion you want in Victoria Island. Please, just accept me. The kind of women who will accept you are women in their graves. Go down there and look for them. Don't come close to my gates again. And that is the final warning. My Lord. It's it's revving, revving. Looking like a mammary screw. My Imperial Majesty, my King and my Lord. My darling, you know that it makes me happy when you address me as such. But you know I would always address you as 
my king and my lord. For indeed, that is what you are. Ah, Abube. I have some unanswered questions, but I'll start with one. Understanding that you must have been troubled. But then you left without speaking. Why? for King to marry another wife. Father, I think... I think what happened? I think the Queen is irresponsible for leaving her home unannounced. And it is not just an insult to the King, but also to the entire kingdom. When your mom, my pain is that the King is not seeing all this. His attitude towards this whole thing baffles me. <laughs> he is a stubborn king. But you know what? We, the Council of Elders, will not allow his stubbornness to rend this kingdom. <clears throat> well, he has no choice but to listen to the elders of the land. Mm -hmm. You're right. Whether he likes it or not, he must listen to us. <sighs> but the painful thing is that that a fool, that stupid man that always sees himself as semi god, called Ogwufiukwa Nasaya, that idiot. Mm -hmm. Is supporting the king. Mm. Yes. He is not saying anything reasonable to back up my plans. But whether he likes it or not, they must surely play along. I know you all will sort it out anyway. Now, let me get your food. Oh? No, no, no. Don't. I, okay, I want to. I, I lost my appetite. Let me rest first. No, take it easy, bro. Take it easy. Oh, Balanzo. I am here to see the king. Why are you delaying? The king is not disposed to send anyone today. Leave and come back on appointment. If the king is not disposed to see anyone, it should be those that come here to beg him for money. Not me. Zafu, what? Okay, mom. The brain box of this kingdom. May I remind you? I am here to see the king for a crucial meeting to discuss important issues bothering on this kingdom. In my capacity as the owner of this land. So, do the need for. Now, I am very much aware of who you are. You are, do you know, the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. But I am telling you that the king is not disposed to receiving visitors today. Like I said earlier, leave and come back on appointment. Or balance. Tell the king 
that Ebiogu, Puraji, Puogu, Pujuari Anine, Manora Pukal, Ebo Muni and Eji Diaka, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Very well then. Very well. Princess. Where is my brother? And why are you stopping people from seeing him? My princess, I am working based on the king's instruction. If I want to see my brother, you cannot stop me. I will only respect his wish. And whenever he is ready to see Papa, tell him that I want to see him so that I can talk to him. I will do just that, my princess. Wait. You are too boastful for my liking. There is nothing formal about you. You are only pretending to be following protocol. I will buffer it you. Reason I'm here, we make an honor them ma ima okwamiri to pose. I went to the palace to speak with the king, and he refused to see me. It is possible the king was not disposed to see anybody the time you went to him. It shouldn't be an issue because it can happen to anybody. Why do I have this feeling that you are the one encouraging that young man to behave the way he's behaving right now? I don't know where this is coming from. And honestly, I don't know where you're going with this. But I need you to understand something. That the so-called young man that you keep looking down on is now a king ruling over our kingdom. Give him the breathing space he needs to operate freely. May I also remind you that I am still the Onuru in Africa of Umezora Kingdom. Nobody is disputing that. You are the Onuru. So what? And I will not sit and watch that young man ruin this land. I will never support that. In Zafrukwe, I am always championing for peace because peace is supreme. And I will encourage you to do the same. But if you have decided that constantly waging war with the king is the best way you want to go about it, I wish you best of luck. Amaka, where are you going? Mama, I'm going to see the princess. Don't worry, I'll be back soon and I'll see you in all the domestic chores. Let me just see the princess and I'll be back. Huh. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come back early. Please. I'll come back early. Don't worry. Hmm? You've got me and I've got you. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Come here, Katia. Make sure you come back quick. Katia, Katia. Oh, I'm coming, you oh. <laughs> Oh, 